Hello, my name is Jessica Jimerson and welcome to Intermediate Tutorials for Adobe Photoshop CS5. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple wood texture that's very effective for things such as crates. Okay, let's get started. For this, I'm going to create a, a new file and I'm going to make sure that it's perfectly square. So I'm going to go 98, 4, 98, 4, make sure the height and the width are the same. And for this, I'm going to make the lighter color of the wood. Um, let's see, 7, 7, 6, 130. So that's the lighter color for the wood. And the darker color for the wood is going to be 40, 28, 10. Now what I'm going to do is go up to Filter, Render, and fibers. From here I'm just going to edit the variance and strength. As you can see you can come up with different textures depending on what your needs are. For this I'm going to go right about here. 16 variance and 16 strength. And you see we have wood texture. For this I'm going to make um, planks of wood for the um, crate that I talked about. So I'm going to make another new file. Make sure it's the same size. And I'm going to cut a plank size out of this box. So this is the size of one plank that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize these two open windows in Photoshop. So I'm going to right click on the background layer and make it a regular layer and just click and drag over to this layer. And I'm going to move it all the way over to the end. And I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to cut it exactly in the perimeters of the pre-cut section and hit enter and just drag the piece back over and place it here and I'll just keep redoing this a few times have a different part of the cube or square cut and then just drag the plank back over And do it again. I'm just doing this so I have different pieces. Um, so the wood looks like it's in different pieces and it doesn't look like it's so much tiled. And one more time. to make sure the top and bottom are lined up perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to hide the background layer and once I do that you can see more apparently that I have these, these individual planks. So I'm going to move them all closely together. And now I'm going to select them all by holding the shift key down, pressing the bottom and going and then pressing the top. And I'm going to right click and duplicate layers. Hit OK and then drag over the duplicates over to the end. And I'm going to select the last two on the end and do that once more. So the whole screen is filled. Now what I'm going to do to make a more obvious crate look is I'm going to right click on one of the layers and I'm going to give it um, an inner shadow. For this, I'm going to make, just mess with the settings a little bit to they look right. Depending on what type of crate you're making, it can vary. It's important to make sure that the blend mode is on multiply. So the shadow is see-through and you can actually see the texture underneath the shadow. Otherwise, if it's on normal, you won't be able to see through it at all. So. So I guess that looks pretty good right about here. And once I have that, I can just copy. Well, I can right click the layer that I just edited and let's see, copy layer style. From there, I can select all the other layers that don't have the layer style and then click paste layer style. So you see now they all are more obviously individual planks. From here, I can 
start to make my crate, I can duplicate just one of the random blanks here and put it, make sure it's at the top. And I'm going to control alt T, right click, and I'm just going to rotate it and put it at the bottom here. And delete that extra. Well, actually, I won't delete it. I'll use it. Control Alt T again, and rotate, and I'll just place this one at the top. And I can duplicate this layer and drag it over to the other side. And I will duplicate it once more drag it over to the center, and then rotate it by hand. So I'm wanting this center archer to point to the center corner here, and this center archer to point to this center corner. So it's important to get them as direct on as possible with this type of crate. And then I can just stretch them. I hit enter, and then I will take this, this new uh, plank and drag it below the other ones. And I will change the colors of the top encasing planks a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, let's try maybe the dodge tool. Yeah, that looks like it works. I'm going to make it larger. Oops. So it stands out a little bit. And I'll just go in and do the others. And finally the top layer. From here I'm going to get the selection. Um, I'm going to select all the top planks that we just created. Right click and merge layers. So that flattens these layers so I can now move them all as one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and I'm going to hit drop shadow and I'm going to tinker with the settings in the drop shadow to give it a more three-dimensional look. And there you have it. Um, this is a face crate texture you could um, use for your UVW unwrap some 3D programs such as 3D Max or Silo and it's a great way to make a wood texture. I hope you enjoyed. Until next week, bye-bye.